Jacksonville double murder earlier this month was part of a $20,000 gang hit, according to an arrest warrant. We just received these mugshots of Juquan Mills and Diamond Harris arrested last week in the murder of a local teenager and a man who was driving him for Uber. Community advocates say this shows how out of control gang violence is here in our city. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci tells us detectives believe the victims were set up. A high dollar hit. Jacksonville detectives believe this October 6th double murder in Moncrief was not random. Instead, it was a gang related contract killing worth $20,000. The dollar figure that's attached to that is fairly high. We found this information in the arrest reports for 22 year old Jaquan Mills and his girlfriend, 23 year old Diamond Harris. Detectives believe Harris lured one of the victims, 19 year old Antonio Tilly Jr., who thought he was meeting her for a date. Investigators accuse Mills of killing Tilly instead, collecting half of the bounty on his head. Police say they've identified another suspect involved in the murder, but they're still trying to track that person down. Tilly's Uber driver was caught up in the violence and also killed, shot in the car he was driving to make a living. He's caught literally in the middle of this $20,000 hit, unbeknownst to him. He's been identified as 31-year-old Bryant Grund. Former JSO director Tom Hackney says it shows the senselessness of gang violence. In order to, to successfully prosecute a case like this, you want to be able to answer as many questions as you possibly can. And that does it. It spiderwebs out from there about who not only who completed this hit, but who set the hit. Jacksonville police told us earlier this year they were tracking 32 active gangs with nearly 600 members. They're responsible for a large number of the city's shootings. The solution is that we have to be more involved. AJ Jordan with Mad Dads is calling on the community as gangs continue to wreak havoc in the city. AJ, we're looking at cases where gang members are arrested in mass sometimes, right? Police are getting a lot of gang members behind bars, but then we're still seeing gang violence. Is it just new people filling the void? It's always been one down, one up. It's always somebody to take their place. And once again, that comes back to the community. When that one pops back up, we have to turn them in. We have to get them off the street. Why are these primarily young men getting into gang violence? I think it's, it's a combination of everything, a breakdown of the home, not having fathers in the home, mothers working all the time and just not having enough to do to keep them busy. I talked to one a while back, and he know the consequences of it. But he said, it's worth it. That's what he told me. He said it's worth it because they get a lot of money really quick. I did reach out to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office about this case. A police spokesperson told me that it is still open and an ongoing investigation. So JSO wasn't going to comment, but he said detectives are hard at work. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4. This the is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And this is a clear example of our people being sottish, which means stupid, okay, and foolish, and having no understanding, but our people are wise to commit all types of wickedness, uh, transgressions, iniquities. Our people uh, uh, flourish and blossom and prosper in uh, uh, wickedness, man. Okay, Jay can tell you how to whip up some uh, 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 some some work. He can show you how to you know uh, you know be the, uh, 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 the 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 best fake thug you can be here in Babylon the Great. 
You know, we can show you how to hate your brother, all types of madness. But when it comes to righteousness and prevailing in the way that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai told us and told us to do, you know, you know, our people rebel against that. But when it comes to, you know, being a nigga, being a fake thug, being a, a pookie or Ray Ray, whatever you want to whatever you want to state it in this captivity, Jake will prosper in that uh, in that uh, avenue. You know, he'll he'll elevate, you know, in a, 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 a wickedness, man. OK, but when it comes to doing right, when it comes to actually, you know, being the man that Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai wants you to be according to the customs that he has given us, you know, our people rebel against that. You know, and, uh, you know, furthermore to Salaki, let me say this too. Uh, uh, the biggest damn gangs on the earth are you Edomites, okay? The CIA, FBI, okay? The goddamn government, the Senate House, all that. Those are the biggest damn uh, uh, gangs that get away with all they, with, with all they crimes, okay? Now, now we know Jake is wicked, but Esau, you know, you're not off. You're not off. You, you, you ain't going to get away with your bullshit, man. Okay, because you're the biggest gang, the biggest cancer of the earth, man. Let's just make that clear. Okay? And everything that we see right now is going to get worse, man. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come to a point you're not going to have to pay nobody for no damn hit. Okay? Because in the very near future, you're going to have people, you know, just trying to get a loaf of bread, just trying to get a, a bottle of water, you know, some comfort, some shelter, all types of stuff, man. Okay? Order out of chaos, okay? This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So, so these uh, transgressions, these sins will multiply and increase more and more abundantly. And the consideration and the compassionate, that remorseful spirit, that uh, showing mercy, which won't exist, you know, uh, the love of many shall wax cold, man. And they're not going to care about, you know, you need to feed your kids. You need, you need to do this. You need to do that. That's going to be obsolete. That's not that's not going to be existent in the very near future, man. OK. And, and, and furthermore, that's already a, 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 a being brought forth right now as we speak. OK. The love of many is waxing cold right now as we speak, man. Nobody gives a, a good goddamn about anybody but themselves, man. As the scriptures state and say, there shall be perilous times and men shall be what? Lovers of them own selves, man. Okay? Only the strong survive, man, as they say in the world, man. Okay? And that's what you see happening, man. You see Jake, man, because Jake has that love for those uh, Federal Reserve notes, which is not backed with nothing. It's not backed by gold. The only thing it was backed by was the military. Okay? That's how they That's how they uh, uh, pushed that uh, uh, slave note. You know, the, those greenbacks, as they call them. Okay, they pushed the, 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 the uh, what backed it up was the, uh, the military, the military might. Okay? But you, you're going to be seeing way worse things than this on the news. And furthermore, it's going to come to a point, you know, the news ain't going to be airing, man. You, you'll be able to go outside and see it for yourself. Okay? The, the most high is just uh, uh, warming up the pot, man. Okay? But you know, Jake, man. Hey, man. They, they, they're going to continue to put Jake on the front line, you know, to, uh, you know, make it seem like our people are the worst people in the world. When actually the worst people in the world is the ones that's running the damn, running, running the damn show and calling the shots. OK, again, the CIA, FBI, DEA, uh, uh, the damn P, uh, uh, police departments, the government, the Senate houses. Those are the biggest damn gangs in the world, man. The biggest damn criminals that get away with murder, uh, death, bloodshed. OK, uh, uh, putting hits on putting hits out on people, drug deals, all types of shit. Those are the biggest goddamn gangs, man. All right. But Israel, man, our people are destroyed, man, because they, they only believe they have one way in society, man. You know, the, 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 the way that we have is, is, is the uh, ultimate way. And that's coming back to you. How about Shimi? How This is the book of Isaiah, chapter one, verse four. Ah, sinful nation. A people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers. Now, this is some evil shit to be done, man. You know, a $20,000 hit, okay? A $20,000 hit. This is some evil, wicked shit. As it, says, as it says in our laws, thou shalt not murder, man. Okay, thou shalt not murder, man. But what do we see amongst our people? Murder, adultery, okay, a covetous spirit, you know, theft, stealing, 
lying, lying to one another, all types of madness, man. A seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They have gone away backward. And that's what we see amongst our people, man. They forsake, you know, our custom. They forsake coming back to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and seeking righteousness and seeking to do what's right. As we read, as the first precept we read, our people are, uh, have none understanding and they are what? They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. Okay? And we get that true knowledge, that true understanding, that true uh, interpretation. Okay? We get that revelation when we come back to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. But our people are just, you know, demonic, man. Okay? They, they are of this world and this world tells you what? Be as wicked as you want to be. Okay, you know, that's, that's 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 the real motto of Babylon. Be as wicked as you want to be. Okay? As they say in the army, be all you can be. Nah, be as wicked as you want to be. You know, go out here and take what you want. Don't work for it. Don't please the Lord and ask the Lord for it. Okay? Go out here and commit all types of evil, all types of madness, man. Bloodshed. Be the best nigga you can be. Be the best boss bitch you can be, man. Okay? And our people have gone away backwards, man. They're evildoers. That's all they know is how to be evil. How to uh, 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 show forth their hands to commit all types of wickedness, man. Okay? Because again, like I just said it, Jake loves that money. Let's grab that real quick. Jake loves these uh, uh, Federal, Re Federal Reserve notes, man, with your oppressor on it. They, they they believe once they, you know, chase that bag and get that money, that their life is going to be comfortable. Nah, man. It's not. You got to keep on doing stuff and you got to keep on, you know, you know, show forth your efforts in society to uh, keep keep that uh, uh, bag coming in, man. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter six, verse 10. For the love of money. OK, which, you know, this is a, a clear depiction of Jake loving money, chasing after that bag, as they say. For the love of money is the root of all evil. So in this in this concept, you, you're going to get paid twenty thousand dollars to take somebody out. OK, that's that's uh, 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 having the, the, uh, the, the desire, the lust, the love for money and, and making you commit all types of evils just to have that comfort, just to have that dirty, filthy, nasty money that that that, that has nothing back in it. Nothing. Everybody's leaving the American dollar, man. And very soon, very soon, I don't want to za. You know, it comes just like that. That money ain't going to mean shit. It ain't going to be worth nothing. You're going to have to reform and submit to the new uh, uh, format that, that this devil is going to bring forth. If you don't, you won't be able to be you won't be able to be a part of society. All right. Period, man. For the love of money is the root of all evil, while which while some coveted after. OK, and this is a prime example of Jake coveted after goddamn money that 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 again, that holds no weight, that, that doesn't have nothing back in it, man. The real money is gold and silver. All right. Which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many with many sorrows. And it's going to be a sorrow. Look, you caught you about to you about to spend life in jail. You about to be somebody's bitch. OK, all because you had the love of money and you wanted to commit somebody's uh, uh, some evils and do a job for somebody. OK, because, again, I believe in, 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 uh, in Esau's judicial system. It's so like I believe in Esau's judicial system. It's not illegal to be in a gang. It's just illegal to commit uh, unlawful acts, if I'm not mistaken. OK. But you, when you have this love of money, it, 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 it conforms you to committing all types of evils just to get it and to gain it. And this is a prime example of Jake would do anything, anything to get that bag, as they say. OK, anything. And then this is one thing our people love doing right here, man. Jake loves being niggas, man, because, again, what, what is what is the movies, the, 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 the rap and all that stuff push? You know, uh, you know, kill, kill a nigga, chase the bag, fuck these hoes, all this, all types of shit, man. This is the book of Isaiah 59. I'm going to start off at verse seven. Their feet run to evil 
Okay, and this is a clear example of it. You know, your feet quickly run into evil to get that bag. You know, to 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 do somebody's dirty work. Okay, their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. And this is a clear example, man. You know, you you do this, I'm gonna give you that. You know, you make haste. You know, you you quickly, you know, you examining the matter. You're going in. You 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 uh, uh what do they say? Um, you're doing a stakeout. You're watching their every move to see when you can hit them, you know, and then your feet is quick. You're making haste to go shed that blood, man. This is our people, man. Okay, and they, and they, 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 got, they got this concept from Esau, man. Okay, their feet run to evil. They make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Again, as we read again in Jeremiah 4 verse 22, our people are wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no knowledge, man. Okay, their thoughts are, are thoughts of iniquity, thoughts of transgression, thoughts of wickedness. How can I prosper by taking these niggas out? How can I prosper by doing this and doing that, man? Okay. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Wasting and destruction are in their paths, man. By any means necessary. I don't care who I hurt. I don't care what I got to do to get to it. I don't care who or, or, or what I what I have to do and what where where or when anything, man. This is the mentality of you Israelites, man, in the world, man. By all means necessary, like Malcolm X said, and you niggas live by that. Verse eight, the way of peace they know not. Okay, our people don't know peace; they just know what violence. Okay, because again, who do they get that from? They daddy Esau. That's all he knows is violence. So they have cleaved and, and held on to the customs of the heathen, man. As it says in Jeremiah 10, learn not the way of the heathen, man. The heathen don't have the understanding. The understanding was given to our people. But you only get that when you repent and come back to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Denounce the nigga that you was, you know, and change OK, the way of peace they have not known and there is no judgment in their goings, no judgment, no, no, you know, discerning the matters, no meditation, no, no logical thinking of what, what they're about to commit and what they do. They don't think about the repercussions. They don't think they're going to get caught with anything they do, man. They don't get to, to, to be clear and, 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 and clear and, 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 and clean and cut. Salakia. They don't give a fuck. Jake don't give a fuck. These 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 uh, uh, Israelite women don't give a fuck. And Salaki, I'm a little bit excited, man. The way of peace, they know not. And there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths again by any means necessary. They'll do anything to get what they want. Even if it's killing, killing somebody, man, taking somebody out. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. And our people are not going to know peace, man, because what, what did the Lord said? What did the Lord, Yahweh Hashim, Yahweh Shai? There's no peace to the wicked, man. And that, 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 that statement is not just made for the actual wicked. It's also made for the uh, uh, wicked of our nation, man. There will be no peace for the wicked, man. Period, man. Because, well, again, what do they do? Let's back this precept up with Romans. Let's go to Romans chapter 3. It's the book of Romans chapter 3. I'm going to start off at verse 15. Their feet are swift to shed blood. So you tell, you're telling these jakes, these, these fake thugs, you know, you go do this for me. You take this person out, I give you 20 G's. You know, and, 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 and without even thinking, without even, you know, uh, weighing the matter or even having any logical uh, intellect, intellectual thoughts about anything, they accept those things just to get what? To get that bag, man. And this is a prime example of it, man. Okay? <clears throat> Instead of, you know, trying to, you know, again, you know, I mean, no, none, none, none of us like to fucking work, but, you know, we, 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 we know and we understand we're in captivity. We have to work. We have to do this. We have to do that. You know, you, you doing stuff like this is going to end you in jail, again, to be somebody's bitch, you know, iron somebody's drawers, rubbing somebody's feet. You know, submitting to a damn uh, 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 a man in jail, man. And that's what's about to happen to a lot of you, you jakes, man, that don't think, man. Romans 3, verse 15. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. Again, because they don't know peace. They don't want to uh, 
you know, live righteously. They want to live, uh, 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 they want to have a chaotic life, man. Okay. They, they believe that, you know, uh, uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, uh, as those, as the woman say, uh, uh, he he's born. If he, you know, if, if 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 he don't bring forth no drama, he's born. If he don't argue with me, he's born. Okay, that's all misery. Okay, destruction. You know, you know, just being uh unstable, man. Verse seventeen. In the way of peace, have they not? It's like in the way of peace, have they not known? There is no fear. Of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh before their eyes. There's no fear of the Lord before their eyes, man. You know why? Because they don't believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh They believe in themselves, man. They believe that, you know, they have control over their own destiny. They believe that they have uh, a control over their own uh, outcome of life, man. This, this is our people we're talking about, man. And that's why the Lord is going to continue to fuck you niggas up, man. Let's close out. The point is made. And it's only going to get worse, man. It's only going to get worse, man. Okay? It ain't going to get better. It's going to get worse and worse and worse, man. It's the book of Ezekiel chapter 7. I'm going to start off at verse 10. Behold the day. Behold, it is come. The morning is gone forth. The rod hath blossomed. Pride hath budded. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. Okay, and that violence, again, that violence is going to keep on increasing. It's going to keep on elevating. It's going to keep on being amplified. Babylon is going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Okay, and we pray and pray and pray and pray for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah to bring that tomorrow swiftly. Okay, as T.I. say, <laughs> expeditious, expeditiously, if I'm saying it right, so like it. Okay, violence has risen up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor of any of theirs. Neither shall there be any, it's like a, neither shall there be welling for them. Okay, because it said, as it says in uh, the book of uh, Jeremiah, they should not, they, they should not uh, lament for them, man. It's going to come a, a, a time. Uh, in the very near future, we, you're not going to be able to mourn or bury your uh, your kinfolk, your loved ones, man. Okay, the stage is being set, man. So stuff like this, man, you know, it, it won't be aired in the news. It'll just happen. There won't be no, you know, you you give me, you know, 20, 30, 40 Gs. Nah, man, it's going to come to a point where people is going to be on survival mode. People's going to be running in houses for for a, a piece of bread, not even a low, a piece of bread. A uh, 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 a swallow of water, okay. Get getting for your goods. Money money ain't gonna mean a damn thing in the very near future, man. So I don't want to write this out, man. I hope and I pray that this is edifying and uplifting and informative to the true sincere Akiem Wa Akwaf. So with that, I'm just gonna say, Kohu Layim La. Abanawa Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakradash Watha Wada Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakradash for putting the spirit on me, my elder apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers on down for doing these epistles to enlighten you, to inform you, to edify you, and uplift you through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. May the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household. I don't want Rataza until the next one. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.